What is going guys? My name is Wall Synchronous and welcome to another video. So today is the day guys that I am going to be showing you the differences between the X264 presets. We're doing very fast, fast and medium as when you go below medium, there's literally no quality difference. And we are doing MVENC as well, just to show you the quality difference at, and all of these are at different bit rates. So I did record a GTA and Overwatch because I thought one, people play first person shooter games and two, GTA, I played ultra settings apart from grass that was on very high. So basically I was trying to crank the detail as high as possible. So this is like the worst case scenario because obviously it's a third person game open world compared to a first person shooter. It's GTA and Overwatch are two very, very popular games when you're streaming, because obviously when you're streaming, you need to do lower bit rates. That is why I use X264. So on the screen right now, there is some GTA 5 footage, and this is the source content. I'll be rendering this video in 4K 60 FPS with the highest bit rate that we can go. So there is as less compression as possible, as you know, YouTube really does like killing quality. But when you go 4K, obviously, if you do right click, start that's for nerds then it says vp9 that is one of the best codecs well i think it is the best codec that you can get but yeah this is the gta 5 footage and let's get on to the overwatch so obviously there is lots of fast motion in this game and i just wanted to do worst case test scenario kind of things i did basically just record it with the mbank uh the cqp was 10 if i remember correctly so that is absolutely insane quality near enough lossless and then what I did after that is put a media source into my OBS and then I just recorded them into X264. Obviously, with a different bit rates, I'm going to have them on screen. We're going to have different sizes and everything like that. It's going to be a very detailed video, but I just want to show you guys because let's say if you have a Ryzen 5 3600 or something, then you can test out what kind of like CPU hit it's going to take to your CPU, how much FPS and stuff you're going to get in your game, how much you're going to loss, and if the actual quality benefit is worth it compared to NVENC. This NVENC was on a 1650 Super that does use the Turing NVENC, like little architecture, you know? So yes, as you can see on the screen right now, we are currently on GTA 5 1080. ATP 60 FPS. So obviously this is the worst case scenario and we are doing 2,500 bit rate on very fast. This is what the footage will look for you guys. Obviously this is a full screen. When someone is watching a live stream, it most likely have it in a little window with chat on the side and I'll show you guys what that is going to look like a little bit later. So yeah, uh, as you can see, there is major pixelation on this as it is very fast and 2,500 your bit rate is nowhere enough enough bit rate for 1080p 60 frames per second if we just zoom in at certain points you can see there is so much pixelation but yeah um these are all the different bit rates and stuff i'll have them on screen comparing this is a gta 5 1080p 60 fps 2500 bit rate very fast on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have got gta 5 1080p 60 frames per second at 2500 bit rate but the thing is this is on a medium x264 so you can see the difference at very very low bit rate so you can see a slight difference obviously there's youtube compression but yeah, but this is at 4K 60 FPS of video, so it's a higher bit rate. So this is Overwatch on 1080p 60 frames per second, 2500 bit rate on very fast. And on the side of it, we have got some more Overwatch gameplay, but this is 1080p 60 frames per second, 2500 bit rate on the medium preset. So yes, there is a quite a bit of difference. Obviously, there is still major pixelation because of a bit rate is the major contender when you are streaming, as you can see from a difference between 2,500 and 6,000. But yes, we are going to have all of the different video clips in four boxes. Basically, I'm going to try and do that on my editing software. But yeah, just have a look at the footage, guys, and you can see what exactly everything is like. Hopefully, these tests are good enough for you guys because I have never really done one of these videos before, so I don't really know the best way to structure these. But yeah, um, this took about half an hour, 40 minutes to record because obviously it's about a minute 30 clip, and then I've got to record them all in the different X264 options. But um, yeah, the reason why I'm making this video is literally because... 
when I was researching on like what kind of CPUs and stuff you need to achieve X264 medium and different quality presets, obviously before researching a CPU, you've got to see what actual real life difference the X264 will make to it. Like, yes, very fast is watchable. It's, it's going to produce a video at the end of the day, but I am like a quality not nerd but i want the best of the best at no matter what cost because obviously youtube is such a big part of my life so yeah um but like yeah there's not many tests online honestly i mean there are on youtube there's a couple but they upload in like 1080p and 720p and i'm like at 720p you can't even see a difference because obviously that's encoded into avc1 and if you want the best quality for your youtube channel then it's gonna be on 4k 60 fps obviously you can do 4 in 40 you still get a vp9 but you need the higher bit rates man to actually see the quality difference but yeah so hopefully um this is all good and um i'm gonna just turn up the music and you can keep watching the gameplay i guess Man, that 
heart is so juicy. Juicy. Yeah, guys, uh, hopefully this has been an informative video of mine. Hopefully it really has. I because, yeah, I, I'm not the best at displaying this information. But yeah. But yes, guys, uh, if you have any comments or anything, please do just comment it down below. It would honestly mean the world to me because I've never done a video, as I did say earlier, of this like analysis. I know there is a Netflix VMAF, but that's using FFmpeg, and I have no idea how to do that because I'm pretty sure, well, I'm pretty certain, like 100% certain, or 99%, let's say, that it's all command line based. And when it's command based, you know, it, it's very hard to figure out what exactly is happening with all the content, you know? But yeah, guys, I'm now going to end up the video here. I hope everybody has had an amazing time watching this comparison video. Just remember the source footage is in 1080p, 60 frames per second. If you are streaming in 900p, 720p, 540p, 480p, something like that, it is going to look better, but only on Twitch. If it's on YouTube, the higher your resolution, as long as you're maintaining a better bitrate. For example, if you stream at 13,000 bitrate on 1080p, versus 720p the 1080p is going to look better because it has different codecs and stuff youtube is really confusing how it comes with resolution like for example if i'm streaming 720p at 50,000 bit rate versus 1440p or 4k at 50,000 before it's the 1440p is going to look better you would think it would be worse because obviously higher bit uh, high resolution requires more bit rate but yeah youtube is really weird how their codecs work you know but yes, guys, I'm now going to end up video. Hopefully this has been informative enough for you guys. Please do let me know in the comments if I need to do any more tests or what CPU you got and what kind of presets and stuff you do use. Remember, there is NVENC and this is on the 16 series. I do not have a 10 series card. I've only got a Vega 64 and that is not very good for video rendering. Well, it is, but actually like in OBS real time stuff so yeah this was literally just x264 and medium but uh medium and nvenc because that's what i'm supposed to say not medium nvenc but yeah thank you guys watching my name is wall signature you guys have been absolutely awesome hopefully you see a difference and hopefully youtube isn't crushing the quality yeah thank you guys peace out much love every single time dab on my haters yo